When people ask me, what do you do for a living? They never understand, so I just say, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Since about the age of 10, I've always wanted to exterminate ghosts for a living. It probably started back all those Thursday nights when I heard the moaning and the creaking from my parents' room. You know what? I never actually figured out what that was. It's not your everyday job, you know? The pay sucks, you know, it's easy to get out of work, there are no health benefits, but still, you do what you love. Hello, Ghostbusters, uh, we ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah, sorry, wrong number. Well, it started off with Sam and Chris, and then uh, they asked me to join along. They thought it'd be really useful with all the field stuff and handling equipment, and also in the laboratory. Yeah, we tended to take about 10% of his paycheck each month. We used it to buy a new TV. Sometimes the public kind of discriminates against us. Uh, they don't take our work too seriously. It's definitely the work of ghosts. This is a haunted no, no doors open by themselves. Um, can you point us out where the ghosts have been? No. No, I'm sorry. You, did you have permission to, to use the camera in the yes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Uh, <coughs> you need to ask ghost. my permission to do what you're doing. Me? I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Ma'am, ma'am. Have you seen any ghosts? You gotta bust some ghosts. <laughs> no, I have not seen any ghosts. Alright, this is why we need you to leave the building to gather the Canadian forces and fight the ghosts. Can you do that for me? No. We've had to use like half our income money for like bailouts and stuff. Yeah, all the local police even know our names. They even have a reserved jail cell for us, yeah. There's not one regret but what I have to do. We really make a difference, you know, that's uh, what makes what we do really worth it. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Have a number two combo, please. Uh, no. 